Stable Diffusion has now C++ implementation, which means that you can compile the code written in the C++ directly onto your machine and run the code on CPU. Also, it, this uh, compiled version of Stable Diffusion in C++ version uh, actually requires just 2 GB of RAM. So there are some to-dos like there is not any GPU support available right now. So the inference also is slightly slower compared to the running uh, in the original version like using web UI or conf UI like in the conf UI I was getting three seconds per step but uh, using this C++ implementation since it is running on CPU uh, it takes around 20 seconds for per step there is not any LoRa support the purpose of this video is to letting you know that this, there is some C++ implementation of stable diffusion out now and also I'll show you how you can download the code and compile the code and download the stable diffusion model and do the, all the stuff, convert the model and all. Also uh, one thing to note that there are only 1.x models supported right now, stable diffusion 1.x model. There will be a 2.x support and SDXL support in future. I have seen in the issues section the discussion about that. Anyways you can check that out if you want. So the first thing first you need to have a stable diffusion model. Creator of this repository provided us two links to download the stable diffusion 1.4 and 1.5. These are the base models. The base models are not pretty good in generating the images. So what I would recommend is you can download the model 1.x based model fine-tuned model directly from CVTA. So one I would recommend is realistic vision model. So you can just either search for it or I will leave a link in down description. So you can just directly go to the realistic vision or the link in down description and as you see that it is based on stable diffusion 1.5 you can directly download the model and store it locally and we will come back to it later on now in order to download and execute the code just click on this code green code over here copy the link and open the terminal or command prompt if you are on windows just navigate to your favorite directory wherever you want to install it I'm going to go to documents development SD and I'll make another uh, directory I'll just call it tutorial I'll go inside tutorial and you have to say git clone dash dash paste the link of this repository and hit enter okay, so I'm going to stop it because I have already cloned and a new uh, directory will be created with the name of this so you just have to say cd and the name of the newly created directory which is stable diffusion.cpp so currently if I list the directory you should have all these files over here now change your directory to the models. Now the next thing you have to do, you see over here you have convert.py. You have to say python convert.py and you have to paste the path of the model wherever you have downloaded this realistic vision model. The shortcut of that just directly go to wherever you have downloaded the model. So in my case it's over here. Just drag it to your terminal or command prompt and it is going to automatically paste the path over here. The next thing you have to provide while running that is the quantization method. You can you can have float 16, float 32. Based on the quantization, you will have different uh, image generation results. Uh, higher the number, the better it would be. Experiment with that. 8 underscore 0, a better uh, option to do. So the command for that you see over here, the you have to say dash dash out type q8 underscore 0 and directly hit enter. Now it is going to take some time in order to convert your safe tensor or checkpoint file into the binary file. So you just have to wait. Once the process is completed, you should have a new file with the dot bin extension in the same model directory. Now the next thing, just go back by saying cd dot dot. Now you should be one step back in the directory. Now you have to make a new directory which will be mkdir and you have to call it build. Now go inside build. Now you have to cmake one step back which means this cmake list.txt and hit enter. And after that you have to say cmake. Let's just clear the screen. Now you have to say cmake dash dash build dot dash dash config release and hit enter. Now again this is going to take some time in order to compile all the code for you all the commands I am running you can just directly get them from here inside the usage and actually it is pretty good step by step instruction you can follow so after a few seconds I would say the compilation is completed now you should have a new directory with the name of bin and inside the bin you should have your executable which will be st now in order to use your stable diffusion model what you have to say dot forward slash bin forward slash sd and you can give the path of the model which will be one step back inside models it is with the name of realistic vision dot bin file which we just have converted from safe tensor 
and other options you can provide like mode text to image or image to image you can have threads let's just leave it to default value you can have dash m so which we have recently provided dash m means model dash i for image to image what will be your init initial image dash o the generated output image where you want to save it dash p which i'm interested in so i'm going to provide the prompt so i have provided a positive prompt and uh, optionally you can have negative prompt prompt by just saying dash n let's just say bad quality text watermark let's just leave it over here other things you can provide cfg scale strength height and width um, let's just change the height to let's just leave the default which is 512 by 512 and you can uh, add dash v in order to see the verbose uh, hit enter also you can provide dash dash steps for you know the number of steps the default is 20 so you can just change it as per your need you can just keep on experiment with that stuff for image to image it is pretty easy you can just provide mode which will be dash dash mode also provide the model and obviously you need to have the initial image here i want to show you how much memory it is consuming so you can see it is 1.5 gb memory it is consuming and for the cpu uh, it is over here you can already see so obviously it is running on cpu so there will be no gpu percentage over here also it, it would have been faster if it is running on gpu overall the things are running pretty smooth you can already see i'm running a stable diffusion model after all so per step you can see it is taking 28 seconds finally after a lot of minutes we have our output.png since we didn't specify any path while executing our binary executable so it will be stored in the same directory which is output.png in order to view just open output.png and here we have our beautiful image generated by stable diffusion running on cpu cpp version so uh, you can see uh, we have quantized the model and this was the prompt in case you are interested which was a uh, focused mushroom bouquet background sunset hills spring season so it is kind of similar to my prompt obviously there are hills there is sunset there is mushroom there is blurred background and bouquet added anyways uh, i guess the agenda of this video was to show you how to run the cpp version of stable diffusion to update you with the recent development in cpp field for stable diffusion in case you are interested just go on with that install it it is pretty fun you don't have to actually do pretty much anything you just have to run five or six commands and you have your model running on your cpu anyways i'll end this video right over here in case you get any issues you can add those issues obviously inside this issues section or maybe you can ask in down comment section maybe i could help so let's end this video over here till then enjoy coding enjoy stable diffusion enjoy generating images i'll see you in the next video